Robin, you've got to get over this Ted and Victoria thing. You had your chance and now he's moved on. Can't you just be happy for them? The best I can give you is a fake smile and dead eyes. So. Okay, I've missed you. Not in a we're gonna make out way. Not even in an I forgive you way. Just in an I've missed you way. It's okay. Everything isn't okay. Look at me, I I'm acting crazy and jealous and paranoid. This is how people act in relationships. And that's why I avoid relationships. Well, guess what? I haven't been crazy or jealous or paranoid in months, and I really miss it. Hey, why, why do you need me? Because you're my best friend, all right? You don't have to tell me I'm yours. But the way I see it, we're a team. Without you, I'm just the dynamic Uno. You, you had a lot of valid concerns. Yeah, but concerns we've completely moved on from. But you had a point. I mean, this whole thing has moved pretty fast. Well, you know what? Maybe that's because um, when it's right, you just know. So exactly the opposite. Really, why do you think the Woo Girls have to woo when they win a game of beer pong or when a hot guy takes a shirt off? It's because that is as good as life gets for them. They're really sad people. And when they hang out with someone who's got it all figured out, someone like you, it bumps them out. It takes away their will. Well, where does any prejudice come from, Robin? A stereotype starts and all of a sudden it spreads like wildfire. Like, Asians can't drive, Scotsmen are cheap, Brazilians always put on way too much postage. Uh, it's like this, my man. Every good relationship has a reacher and a settler. Exactly. One person reaches for someone out of their league, the other one settles for someone below their league. In May of 2007, Aunt Lily and Uncle Marshall got married at the historic Van Smoot House in upstate New York. Wow, it's beautiful, Lily. Yeah, it's just how I always pictured it. Well, that was a load of crap. See, kids, when you get married, you learn a hard lesson. The wedding you set out to have is almost never the wedding you end up with. <laughs> Lily and Marshall, when everyone sees you, they see true love. It's the best love. Can we just um, move on to the rings or something? Normal people, you know, people who aren't your dad, usually take longer to say, I love you. Robin went through the usual stages. Spider, spider. I left something in the hallway. <sighs> Got it. First, there's the moment when you think you think. There's the moment you think you know it. Oh, you don't want to kiss me, you'll get sick. There's the moment where you know you know it, but you can't yet say it. All right, it's getting to be that time. I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Wait, Ted? Yeah? Good night. And then there's the moment when you know you know it, and you can't keep it in any longer. Ted? Yeah? Marshall, I love you because you're, you're funny, and you make me feel loved, and you make me feel safe. And for our anniversary, you gave me a sweatshirt that says, Lily and Marshall rocking it since 96. I kind of wish I was wearing it right now, because it, it smells like you. But the main reason I love you, Marshall Erickson, is you made me happy. You make me happy all the time. You're here! Oh my god! I love you so much, can you believe it? Marshall. Something's happened. Um, your father, he had a heart attack. He didn't make it. My dad's dead?
Don't forget.